Hi, I'm Austin Reddick, driver of the number 94 car you're just watching. In the 2015 season, I want to run the full Lucas Oil Dirt Lake Model Series. That would cost about $400,000. I can't do that on my own, and I need your help. A local television station, KFBS 12, did a short story on my family and myself. And I would like to share that with you in hopes that you gain a little understanding on who I am and why I race. Austin and Nathan Reddig grew up under a racing roof. It gets in your blood, you can't help but you're addicted to it. The eldest brother, Nathan, was not only addicted to the sport, he was a natural. The first race he won, he went three wide in the last corner. Uh, all three carts bumped. He came up on two wheels, never lifted off the gas, and won the race. And I was like, oh my goodness, you know, he's got the grit to drive this car that's, that's unbelievable. I like because of the horsepower, the speed, the G-force in the middle of the corner, the way the car feels when you're going around the racetrack. Nathan rose the ranks from go-karts to late model cars, even attracting attention from NASCAR driver Tony Stewart at the age of 13. He had a, a God-given talent that was phenomenal. He, he could drive a car, you give him any situation, and he seemed to come out on top. But all the promise of Nathan's life came crashing down April 9th, 2004. He was at a friend's house. He was riding a four-wheeler. Uh, he hit a ramp and the four-wheeler came down and landed on him. I didn't know what happened. I just remember going to the hospital at the time with my aunt. I just remember mom and dad, mom was crying and dad stormed out type thing and I was, it was, it was very chaotic. Something you don't work, you don't wish on your worst enemy. 1,400 people attended 13-year-old Nathan's funeral. There's not a single person that I have met that didn't fall in love with Nathan. This is his trophy room. After Nathan's death, the Reddicks took a few years away from the track. Then when Austin turned 12, he started stock car racing Austin ready in the big, big circle. and reignited the passion he shared with his brother. I wanted to get away from it because I wanted to make my mark and be something special, you know. And then I kind of took it up in his memory and that's where I started it and then I just fell in love with it too. Everything you do is for racing. You go on a date with your girlfriend or something and she's like, what's wrong with you? And you're like, well, I'm just thinking of racing, I can't help it. Needle in a haystack thing. So there's so many other good drivers out there. It's all about what makes the person stand out. So I guess you can say it's luck or destiny, whichever way you look at it. As Austin drives toward his dream, his brother stays with him every lap. He tapes this picture of Nathan on his dashboard for each race. Every day. I think about him every day. Every time you see a race car, this was actually his old car, and we just got it down and ran it. You can still see Nathan Reddick on the roof of it there. Through wins and the most painful of losses, Racing has rallied the Reddicks together and bonded brothers to the finish line. It's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's also great just because it keeps the family close. Through the loss of, of Nathan, uh, it's made us a closer, tighter family. And this racing uh, ties us all together as a family, and it, it's worked for us. I hope the video gave you a little bit more understanding of who I am. I left some incentives for your funding in the right hand side of the page under the rewards column. If you can't put any funding into the 2015 season, if you could spread the project maybe on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, uh, text message or emails, I would greatly appreciate that. And I couldn't do this season without you, so thank you again. <laughs>